Hello everyone, Sistiana here to do your weekly overview for July 22nd through July 29th. This is going to be for all signs, for Aries through Pisces, and it's going to be including Sun, Moon, and Rising for each sign. So check out all three signs. Hey, Sun sign. Hey. Um, okay. And I, oh my goodness, what else do I need to say? Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And I think that's it. Oh, if you don't know your moon or rising sign, check out the link in the description below so that you can get that information. Or, you know what? Even if you can, if you don't want to go through the trouble, email me. Um, you can find my email address listed on my blog post on my blog website and you can contact me through there and I'll be more than willing to more than happy to help you to find that information out um, and uh, of course I'm not going to charge you for it I just I want to help I want to help my readers I wanna help my my subscribers my viewers I want to help you my people so Okay, let's get on with this. Aries. What does Aries need to know for this next week of July? July 22nd through July 29th. Okay, so we're starting out with the Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning, Aries. Ooh, that's nice. And Three of Wands. Moving away from something, having made a decision. The chariot, possibly dealing with a cancer. Um, we're just getting out of cancer season, so, and that's also for travel, move, um, forward movement kind of thing. And what else for Aries? This has been quick. What else for Aries? And the three of swords. So the three of swords has a couple of different meanings. And we're going to see what other cards come out for it. But this could be a timing card of three days, weeks, or months. So don't get your own, don't don't get hope, not hopes up, but um, don't get despair. This m doesn't always mean heartbreak. I mean, even though the, kind of, the picture is kind of like, oh my God, being stabbed in the heart kind of feeling. So let's see what happens, okay? And this Ace of Cups is brand new beginning for Aries. This is Ace of Cups for. What is this Ace of Why is this Ace of Cups here? Okay. So there's a new beginning, but you have some anxiety, some fears. Um, it's not like the the whole Nine of Swords, which is complete, total despair, kind of anxiety feeling. But this is she can't move. So it's almost a feeling of being paralyzed. So what, what's this new beginning causing that, that fear in you for? Hmm? Let's see. Let's get one more chord for that. What's this ace? Nope. This eight of swords with ace of cups for Aries. with the five of pentacles so you have a new beginning and it's because you actually being you're putting in the work towards making your life right again like you're changing from this energy to the, the ace of cups is what I'm getting Aries I, I really feel like this is something that you've been working on working towards yeah okay so like this is what it is papers coming some kind of document that's going to give you this new beginning you have been feeling like you're you've been out in the cold like just things are not adding up work is not the money's not there and you've been in complete dread over everything 
kind of feeling. I, I hope that makes sense for you, Aries. Okay, let's move on. Three of Wands. What's this Three of Wands here for Aries? You got the Hermits. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Or you're, for some of you, you're walking away from a Virgo. Or you're walking away from the, the feeling of being stuck in your head. Stuck inside. So you're finally going to get out and get moving. So the end of the month, we're about to finish Mercury in retrograde. It's, oh my goodness, that has been a complete terror for me. Okay. The chariot. You got the page of cups. Offering someone love or the message of love coming in. From the chariot, it's like somebody coming from afar, traveling to see you, traveling to give you their 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 message of love. That's pretty nice. What about this three of swords? Okay. When you got the chariot here as well. Now, yeah, um, the chariot with the three of swords you possibly dealing with a ca uh, cancer let me pull another card okay oh no this is this is crazy okay you got two nines here you have an ending to a situation this very one may be a third party situation aries could find out that somebody's cheating on you um, dealing with some major anxieties and n feeling like you just you can't deal with things anymore and you may need to actually just get away for a bit because the three of swords is that energy of um, the, the energy of an ending the energy of a, a, a heartbreak heartache so the triad could mean that you're traveling to get away from something or this is happening in three days, weeks, and months. So you're going to be traveling, and you're because you're trying to get away from the the anxiety, trying to deal with this heartache. Uh, it, it's all together, and it just it feels so oh, just manipulate manipulative. Even um, I hope these messages have been of help to you, Aries. I hope they help you to lead your week in a positive note and try to avoid this negativity try to avoid that anxiety feeling i mean you got the eight here the nine here just try to try to um stay positive this week aries and it all work out all right it, keep positive keep the negativity away okay and let's move on to the next sign I hope everybody's had a, a fabulous weekend. And moving on to Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for this next week of July? What does Taurus need to know for this next week of July? The Knight of Swords. Someone moving in very quickly. Chaos feeling. With the Page of Cups, the message of love, the offering of love. What else for Taurus? And remember, these are general readings. If you need a, if you want a personal reading or something that is more pertain to you, you will, that would be considered a personal reading, a private reading, and I do offer those on through my Facebook page. And this is the Two of Pentacles for you as well. This is balancing or having to make a, a choice between something. Um, you can also just contact me privately through email if um, you're wanting a private reading. And I, I should say that at the beginning and I, I will. What else for Taurus?
Ooh, the nine, nine of cups, the wish fulfilled, your heart's greatest desire being felt and given. This is some nice energy so far, Taurus. What's this knight of swords here for? Somebody's rushing in for a new beginning. Possibly a new job. New financial abundance. A gift, even. So, it's like someone's rushing in and saying, Hey, 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 I need you for this. Kind of feeling. <laughs> Somebody needs to hear that one. The Page of Cups. What's this Page of Cups here for? For Taurus. Ooh, the devil. The devil is manipulation, self-indulgence, selfish behavior, just like nasty behavior kind of, and it, there, it's like manipulation. Um, could also be dealing with a Capricorn, but, so I mean, this could be a Capricorn that's going to be offering their love to you. That could be one way to take this, or there, there's somebody that's trying to manipulate you on an emotional level I'm getting as well but the two of pentacles the two of pentacles for Taurus the three of rods walking away from something so you've made a decision and is you're gonna have balance within your home again within your finances what about this nine of cups the Nine of Cups for Taurus. The Nine of Cups for Taurus. Oh, and a blast from the past. Or a wish being fulfilled to do with your family life. Probably to do with children. Possibly to do with children. Um, this is your soul family as well it's just really really happy energy beautiful energy I, I love it when there's some really quick messages here I, I do want to go back over this devil with this page of cups I'm just not feeling right oh, and here we go so you got the king of cups as well let me get one more this devil with the five of swords okay so this for me is like you're gonna be dealing with it it's gonna be a highly emotional kind of situation and i'm sorry i cannot get these cards that go right in my hands um an emotional situation and I, I really am feeling more like it's going to be some type of selfish behavior. I mean, you got the King of Cups, and he, he's kind of like very much in control over his emotions. But with the devil, sorry, with the devil is like not really is the in control of your emotions, but being very selfish. And I mean, you got the Five of Swords, like. You know what? I've got the swords, not you. I mean, these two uh, men in the background are looking back like this is an arrogant person kind of feeling. And that can be with the King of Cups and the devil. The devil is a bit of an arrogance kind of feeling. So this person that could be coming in and offering an offer of love to a Taurus, whoever you are. Um, and if it doesn't resonate chuck it check your moon and rising okay but i feel like this is an offer of love but it's just a warning that this person is very arrogant and very just hot-headed kind of feeling so you, you may not want to take that offer of love and but and you do have a new beginning here with this knight of swords and it's gonna be like i feel like you got a new beginning but you also have a, a someone coming in offering you love is that you have a decision to make with this three of uh, rods here you've made a decision and you're moving away and it's gonna create balance within your life so 
and it's gonna be that like holy moly my wish has come true everything is just going the way that I want it to go kind of feeling Taurus so I hope that this helps I, I really do I hope it can help you to avoid a, a nasty energy a, na a nasty person possibly um, and like I said if it doesn't resonate check it check your um, horizon okay and let's get on to Gemini what does Gemini need to know for this next week of July what does Gemini need to know for this next week of July Ooh, the tower something being crushed away torn away wiped away cleaned away so that a new beginning can start so it's an ending to something what else for Gemini You got the hangman. This is waiting on something. And like self-sacrifice as well. What else for Gemini? Okay. Two together. This is the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. So some chaos or swift movement coming in. And somebody being somebody being very control over their emotions, like closed off, I ain't telling you anything kind of feeling. So let's see. What's this tower moment for Gemini? What's this tower moment for Gemini? Okay. So you got the Ten of Pentacles, Gemini. You have a financial abundance coming but you got some kind of ending that's coming along with that financial abundance are you having a job ending and you're getting a um what would they call it a um severance pay you know that big lump sum of money because hey you we, we don't want you no more you can't work here no more but here's your big money or you can't work no more and this is the the big check coming in say for your disability or something of that nature and doesn't always have to be a negative ending what are you waiting on with this hangman what are you waiting on with this hangman you're waiting on a travel a trip waiting on forward movement because moving on to calmer waters. What about this Knight of Swords? This quick, chaotic kind of energy. Yeah. Some kind of little squabble. It's like a whole bunch of people in a room all at one time. And everybody's talking all at once. Could be put into that kind of situation this week. And the King of Cups with the Justice card. Justice is Libra or also balance. So, like, he's here like, you know what? I, I don't care about you. I don't care about them. I just want peace. I just want quiet, Gemini. All right. This could be you if you have water and air. I mean Gemini your air sorry um, but if you have water in your chart this could be you saying you know what I just I don't want to deal with the nonsense I don't want to deal with the drama and it's just everything's gonna be fair everything's gonna be right so that's one more card here okay so you got the two of swords with this and this is about try making a decision so this is like definitely you're like you know I'm not dealing with the, the BS anymore I'm not dealing with the nonsense anymore I'm gonna file a lawsuit or something I'm gonna file a restraining order because I've made a decision and my decision is I want peace 
So what are you waiting on with a six of swords? Okay. You're waiting for the, the, the hardship to be over with. You're waiting for the, you're waiting to be able to travel and you have a, um, like not ending, but it's like you're almost there. You're almost complete in, in completion mode. You've almost finished the task at hand kind of feeling. I hope that makes sense to you, um, Gemini. I mean, you've got several um, major arcanas here. Justice, Hangman, and Tower. Big energies, but not too bad. So, I hope that makes sense to you. I hope it helps. Um, and let's move on to Cancer. Cancer. What does Cancer need to know for this week of July? Okay. The High Priestess. Having balance, trust your intuition. What else for High, what, high Priestess? Oh my goodness. What else for Cancer? The Knight of Cups. A rush of love I got that's weird so what else for cancer and the king of cups hmm this is all your energy cancer and what else for cancer The Eight of Pentacles. The working all night and being very like, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done kind of energy. So let's get some clarifiers. The High Priestess. What's the High Priestess here for? Cancer. Why is the High Priestess here for Cancer? Why is the high priestess here? We got the hermit. Staying within and following your intuition or possibly dealing with a Virgo. Hmm. Okay. The nine of cups. We got death. Possibly dealing with a Scorpio, or there could be an ending, and this dude's coming in with his cup of emotions, his cup of tears to give you the news. Hmm. Huh. About the King of Cups. We got the Five of Cups. So this king, he, he's not so high and mighty right now. He's feeling like he's regretting something. He's possibly regretting something from his past. Because he's like, you know, not even caring that he's got two, two good, perfect cups up here. He's just, he's focused on those three that have spilled over. And it's kind of the feeling of despair. What about this Eight of Pentacles? You got the Wish Fulfilled. So, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfilled with the Eight of Cups. Like, all of your work, all of your late night hours, it is being worth it. It's well worth it. You're getting your reward. That's beautiful. So let's go back to this high priestess with the hermit. See if we can get a little bit more clarification on that. The high priestess with the hermit. Okay. And then you got the page of pentacles. The message of financial abundance. 
the message of message of your from your home life kind of feeling so this high priestess is telling you that you need to find balance you need to trust the universe trust your intuition the hermit is all about going within for inner contemplation kind of feeling as well and then this page comes up this message comes up of that's going to affect your home life so like she could be like coming in and saying hey here's the money but you need to stay inside you need to watch yourself and you need to trust that everything in the universe is going to work out just as it should be because everything happens for a reason i hope that makes sense to you cancer i really do and i hope y'all all have a great week but we're moving on now to leo happy birthday leo if it's your birthday this week and let's see what leo needs to hear for this week what does leo need to know for this week of july 22nd through 29th what does leo need to know we got the seven of swords somebody being sneaky or somebody moving on moving away packing up your swords and leaving what else does leo need to know What does Leo need to know? You got the Queen of Wands. This is your energy, Leo. What else for Leo? The Empress. The Creator. The Mother of All Things. Kind of feeling. What else for Leo? The Six of Pentacles. Money coming from somewhere where you're not expecting it to. Or just money coming out of the blue. Like um, a windfall of some sort. Winning a lawsuit. Winning a big case. Having donations coming in. That kind of energy. Um, just not expecting it to happen but it's happening it is coming you're it's you're creating your own abundance leo it is your birthday month birthday season those um birthday wishes are in high manifestation so okay let's see what the seven of swords is here for for leo what's the seven of swords for okay so you got the five of cups with the seven of swords somebody's leaving because they're asking why why is this happening to them kind of feeling sorry so i may come back and clarify that a little bit more but i want to move on what's this queen of wands here for for leo why is this queen of wands oh okay so love balance within your home life balance within your love life being with your soulmate possibly sorry about the noise um what about this empress the empress go figure the guy that i don't know if you don't even hear it my brother-in-law just said bye he's a leo go figure this is this is crazy okay so the empress what's the empress here for for leo oh so you're going to create something new because you have an ending coming a clearing away of things or possibly dealing with a scorpio wow okay the six of pentacles what's the six of pentacles here for okay cards the six of pentacles what is the six of pentacles here for leo why is the six of pentacles here for leo okay so you got the king of cups could be dealing with a male water sign 
or this windfall is going to be like very emotionally balancing for you, emotionally controlling for you even. Like it's going to affect you like major. Let's see what else is this? Why is this King of Cups here? This King of Cups for Leo. This King of Cups. Okay. So you're at the end of your end of your road, end of your travels with this Nine of Ten of Rods. Very control of your emotions. And the money is coming in, but you're not showing it. Like you're you're just not gonna you're not gonna show that you're okay. You're not gonna show that you're happy. And I, I was thinking about this this card just popped out. I was gonna be trying to verify this. So you got a high priestess here. This is about the intuition, the balance, the just trust your intuition trust that the universe is working everything out in the way it should be so there's going to be some kind of balance this could be some major events for you this week leo this is three major arcanas back to back clarifying each other so i really feel like this is going to be like some major events what this five of cups with seven of swords for leo Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles, the the worker or the messenger coming in, and it's slow. He's telling you, hey, the money's coming, and or he's telling you about this this clearing. This oh man, I, I don't like that energy there. I, I don't like. Okay, but you have a. <laughs> This is this is crazy, y'all. You have the Ace of Cups. So the message is coming in about money, bringing you a brand new beginning. And this is what you've been dealing with, the the wondering why, 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 and feeling somebody's been sneaky. So. It's like somebody's just packing up and leaving, and you're wondering why, but then you have a message coming in about money, and it's going to bring a brand new start to the, the whole situation, kind of feeling. That That's some craziness. I, I, I don't know who that's for, but I, I, hope, I hope you all the best. Uh, I hope that um, that's... I hope somebody can see this and be like, okay, now I need to watch for that. Uh, that's just, that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling about this. And I, I just hope it helps you. If not, check it, check your moon rising sign. Like I say, you know, you just never know what's going to be, which energy is going to be influencing you. We don't know which energy is going to affect you the most this week. And this is just general. So let's move on to virgo virgo what does virgo need to know for this next week of july what does virgo need to know for this next week of july the three of swords the timing three days weeks and months or possible heartbreak we'll see what else comes out with it for virgo what does Virgo need to know? You got the Six of Swords moving on to calmer waters, moving away from something. With the King of Pentacles, this is your energy, Virgo, being very grounded, very in control very stable sturdy energy with the five of cups 
the feeling of, oh, why? The regret, the despair, the heartache. Let, let's see. Why is this Three of Swords here for Virgo? With the King of Pentacles? What else? I'm, I'm not even waiting. What else? Three of Swords with King of Pentacles. With the Ten of Pentacles. This is a timing card for you, Virgo. This is three days, three weeks, three months. You're going to get some messages. You're going to get some big money. That's some nice energy, Virgo. Hmm. But the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords for Virgo. The Six... Nope. Six of Swords for Virgo. With the Two of Cups. Possible love situation that you're moving away from? What else? Okay, yeah. So, possibly to do with a uh, Cancer. But it's travel and it could be to do with a relationship with a, um, a love partner that y'all are moving on to calmer waters. Maybe I've had some some issues, some troubles, some um, rocky rocky waters, rocky seas. And you're just moving on to calmer times. But this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. Ooh. The Ace of Pentacles. It's a brand new beginning for you, Virgo. And the Five of Cups. And the celebrations. So, well, what are you celebrating if you're in despair? Three with the Five of Cups. Come on now, Virgo. Okay. You have a new beginning. You're celebrating, but you're still wondering why, wondering how. I mean, why would you wonder how? And wonder why when you have this brand new beginning and you're celebrating Virgo you're not making any sense to me come on or did, did you have your new beginning taken away from you you were celebrating too quickly I mean this five of cups yeah, I, you've got the Six of Pentacles. This is all some positive energy here. So, what are you feeling down in the dumps about? I mean, is it that you've been just... This is... I'm looking at this wrong. This is your prayers being answered. This is your... The universe is hearing you and... You've been calling out and hoping and wishing and praying for things to, for those cups to be turned back up and it to be full again. Well, honey, it's happening. It's going to happen out of nowhere. You're going to have a new beginning and you're going to be celebrating. And this money is going to be a great blessing for you. I hope that helps. I really do. You've got a brand new beginning here as well. You've got big money. I mean, big money. And you're traveling. You're going somewhere. Else. Even if it's just down the road, you're traveling. You're traveling on to your, your travel. Your future is going to be more peaceful and calm and just full of love. It's just going to be beautiful. I hope that message helps you. Virgo. I really do. And let's move on to Libra. 
my Libra, what does Libra need to know today, or not today, sorry, for this week? What does my Libras need to know for this week? July 22nd through 29th. What is, oh Libra, creating something new, possibly something to do with your mother, or you, if you are a female Libra, and this is your mother or you, creation, creating something new. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? Oh, the Ace of Pentacles, the brand new beginning with the finances and the stability. Mm hmm. What else for my Libra? The Knight of Pentacles. He's carrying all that money, so it's coming in, but it's coming in a little bit slow. But you're going to get the message soon. I'm telling you. What else for my Libra? Keep that positive energy coming in, Libra. What else we got? And the King of Pentacles being very stable, very grounded. Keep that energy coming because that's what you need. That's what you want. You want that stable, very, it could be slow, but remember, it's going to be good. Having a solid foundation. What's this Empress? Why is this Empress here for Libra? What's this Empress here for Libra? So, you're creating something and you're, you're getting a bit tired of waiting on it. What else for the Empress with this Seven of Pentacles? It's the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be that this is going to bloom and ripen in Virgo season, which is going to be at the end of August. So whatever you're creating, remember that it's going, everything has to go through its cycles. Everything has to, it takes time for things to come to you, but it's happening and it's coming. But this Ace of Pentacles, this Ace of Pentacles. So you got the Eight of Pentacles that all your hard work, all your effort is going to pay off with that Ace of Pentacles. But the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, so he's going to bring in the news with the papers for you to sign that the money is yours. Whatever it is, if it's an approval of something or a raise or a new job, I mean, it's just, it's coming. You're going to find out about it this week and the money's on its way. Or you're going to have to go and meet somebody. Like You're going to have to go in and do the interview or whatever. What about the King of Pentacles? Okay, so you got the King of Rods. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign. You could have earth or fire in your chart. But this is like dealing with higher authorities. It's being very grounded and action happening. And the yes answer or dealing with an Aquarius. This is what you're wanting, what the universe, what you're asking the universe for, your wishes are being granted, your whatever it is, you have a yes answer. Let's put it that way. And I apologize if y'all hear the noise in the background. Um, but if y'all don't, then great. And um, But I hope that these messages are of help to you, Libra. And... That's some wonderful energy. <laughs> so let's see 
what we have in store for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know this week of July from the 22nd through the 29th for Scorpio? Nope. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Okay. So Scorpio, you're going to be very grounded, very much in control of your finances, of your life. If you have Earth in your chart, this is just overall being in control, being even kind of stubborn. And the Six of Pentacles that you can unexpect, have some unexpected money coming in. Or maybe you're expecting it and it's just not going to, you weren't expecting it to come in so soon, kind of feeling. But, or expecting money, but not expecting that much, kind of feeling as well. Yeah, and a new financial abundance, Scorpio, new, new beginning. What else? And the star dealing with Aquarius. And this is also your yes answer. This is the, the star lighting the way that everything is going to work out for you. That's some beautiful energy there, Scorpio. What about the King of Pentacles? What's he here for? What's this King of Pentacles here for Scorpio? With the Eight of Cups. Leaving something behind that's no longer serving you. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, you could be just moving away and leaving, leaving something behind. So maybe you're dealing with an Earth sign that you're leaving behind because you no longer need them in your life. You no longer want to deal with their stubborn energy. What else with this Eight of Cups for the King of Pentacles? What else we got for this Eight of Cups with the King of Pentacles? Uh, and it's like there's been a dispute of some sort. Maybe an argument, a, a gathering, a fight. Uh, I'm not sure. But it, it's like you're moving away from it. So, I mean, that's good, right? I mean, yeah. You're changing your luck. You're changing your luck and you're moving away from this dispute, this this battle, this, like, just ick energy. And the Six of Pentacles, it's some, it's a, maybe it's a check coming in. It's, you got the, um, this is like the document card for me. So, that's wonderful. I mean, and, because, look at this pinnacle. That's nice, right? I mean, and it looks like a document, right? So, this is going to be that document coming in and saying, hey, wait up, no, we, we miscalculated something and you're getting this. Okay. What about the Ace of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. With the King of Cups. So, a new financial abundance. Maybe a new relationship for someone. Or just a new beginning to a relationship. Like, more, um, more stable relationship at home more stable energy altogether just feeling more control of your emotions yeah and we've got the page of cups with that so i really feel like this is going to be a new beginning at home and you could be dealing with a water sign but i just feel like it's just more stable emotion stable in that sense it's like nobody's walking on eggshells kind of feeling anymore what the star for scorpio 
the star? What's the star here for? What's the star here for? You got the hermit. So your yes answer is coming to you and it could be in Virgo season. Um, it, it could be saying yes that you know what follow your your intuition with the light here with this hermit like he's using his star to light his way so this could be just you know your yes answers coming remember that everything happens for a reason and staying within staying inside it's not always a bad thing just remember that um, the universe has a plan for you is what I'm getting I hope that makes sense to you Scorpio I hope it helps and let's move on to Sagittarius what does Sagittarius need to know for this week we got the Queen of Pentacles I think I can see that good she's very grounded um, very control that's really nice what else we got for Sagittarius she got the Queen of Cups as well so she's being in control of her life and her emotions her physical and mental emotional something from the past probably coming possibly coming back and really stirring things up for her and she's got to stay in control over things so that this doesn't like completely like woof the wipe the table clean kind of feeling what else for Sagittarius and expansion creation building on something so this could be children as well that you're dealing with and you're like oh my god I'm pregnant again that you're expanding your family hmm and you're like oh my god how do I deal with this I have to be in control my emotions are all over the place hmm what's this Queen of Pentacles here for okay so the Queen of Pentacles you could have earth in your um, chart Sagittarius but um, you have a wish coming true are you wishing for pregnancy let's see what's this nine of cups here for what's this nine of cups here for what's this nine of cups here for okay so you've made a decision and you're moving on from something um, moving away from something possibly what the Queen of Cups is here for what's this Queen of Cups here for with the page of swords so he's like the messenger of news of a a change what's the page of swords here for okay now I wasn't gonna take this but this is the king and the ace this is um yeah so okay you have you're you're in control of your emotions you are staying in control you're possibly even offering your cup offering your love to someone and could be an air sign that you're dealing with and because here's the message coming in the message is going through he's receiving it and he's like okay yeah we can do this we got the we got it all we're good so for some of you it could be a brand new start to your uh, home life what's the six of cups here for what's the six of cups here for you got the four of swords so dealing with something from the past and it could be very just straining on you that like man I just need a break well you you need a rest 
what's the three of pentacles here for the three of pentacles here for so you got the four of rods so you're expanding your family i feel and this could be just that the the children you're having to rest expanding in a happy home life somebody could be pregnant uh, that's not for everybody okay obviously because if you're a male but I mean your wife your girlfriend your significant other could be pregnant or hey watch out if you're um, a single Sagittarius out there use protection you know you might knock up somebody and not really want that to happen so I hope these messages are of help to you hope they make sense if not check out your moon and rising sign okay and let's move on to Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for this week, July 22nd through 29th? July 2nd through 29th. What does Capricorn need to know for this next week of July 22nd through 29th? The Emperor. The father figure, the creator, uh, like the universe kind of feeling, the the shield even, I'm feeling. The nine of wands, having to take a moment, take a breath, because your, your journey is almost over. What else does Capricorn need to know? You have the strength Capricorn or you have a Leo near. You might be dealing with a Leo. What else does Capricorn need to know? You got the page of wands, the message of action being taken, action needing to be taken. And um, the Emperor is also the card for Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries or a Leo, um, which is both fire signs. And you have fire here as well, Capricorn. So I kind of feel like this is some some big changes in your life this week, maybe. Or just dealing with um, some fire energy, some actions, a lot of actions. But know that you have the strength to get through it, okay? Let's see, what else does Capricorn need to know for this week? Well, oh, sorry. Now, what else do you need to know? I am look. Now I'm scatterbrained. For the emperor, why is the emperor here for Capricorn? Why is the emperor here? Because you're working and you're waiting and you're just like, oh man, can it happen now? And he's like, hey, I got you back. It's coming. Just wait Capricorn what the nine of wands re like rest regroup it's gonna fall into place <sighs> yeah because you got the strength for this one as well so strength came out next and strength came out for this nine of wands this is saying that you or you do have the strength to get through it and you could be dealing with a Leo so that's that's nice hey joe you, leo's got your back what about the strength this strength here for capricorn the strength for capricorn the six of cups something from the past coming back your soul family children possibly even um if you have a child that's a Leo, this could be this could make um, be the the resonating clip for you kind of feeling um, strength that whatever is coming at you, whatever feeling of nostalgia, like you can you can handle it. You could be dealing with an air sign, or this could be 
the Archangel Michael coming in and saying, hey, you know what, I'm protecting you, I'm watching over you, your soul family is here for you, the spirits are here for you, the angels are here for you, everything will be okay. You have the strength to get through it, Capricorn. What about this page of wands? So you got the seven of wands, seven of rods. This is the message coming through that your defense is you, you don't need to put you don't need to have that defense up anymore. That everything is gonna be okay. What's the seven of rods for? Seven of rods here for. Yeah. The documents are gonna come through and the wall can get broken down. You're gonna get the message in and like he's like all here you go. Here's your your wand, here's your 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 money, here's your papers and you can stop defending yourself is what I'm feeling. I hope that makes sense for you. Capricorn. I hope it resonates. If not, check your moon and rising sign, okay? And let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for July 22nd through 29th? What does Aquarius need to know? Aquarius, you got some big money coming that you don't know about or you're not really expecting it. What else does Aquarius need to know? What else does Aquarius need to know? They got the full, the new beginning, the brand new cycle, an ending with the new beginning kind of feeling. The Knight of Pentacles. The he's he's coming in with that that money. He's coming in with that, that pinnacle and it's, it's heavy, so it's coming slow. Could be coming in with like news of, um, about your home life kind of feeling. What else for Aquarius? What else for Aquarius? With the Three of Pentacles, the expansion, the creation of something new. That's some nice energy here, Aquarius. The Six of Pentacles. What's the Six of Pentacles here for? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay. You got the sun. This is the ruler of Leo, which we're going into Leo season. And this is the new beginning. So like this unexpected money coming in is like, hey, here you go. Brand new start. Fresh beginning. Happy, happy energy. What about the fool? This other new beginning. What's this fool card for? What's this fool energy for? The Seven of Cups. Some overwhelm, feeling of being overwhelmed. What else for this fool? Yeah. So, you, like, someone is feeling a little bit crazy. A little bit overwhelmed. A little bit of uncertainty. I, hey, all new beginnings have that energy, right? There, there's always some uncertainty with a new beginning, but it's going to be okay. I mean, this sun card's coming here and telling you that everything's going to be beautiful. All sunshine and rainbows, right? The Nine of Pentacles. The timing. Three, three days, three months. Three days, three weeks, three months. It's going to happen. That, that money's coming in. What was the Three of Pentacles? What about the Three of Pentacles, Aquarius? Three of Pentacles. 
So, the page of rods. He's yelling. He's yelling out and calling out to you like, "Hey, keep on working. Keep on creating. Keep on manifesting. Keep on keeping on." <laughs> I, I I don't know. He, he's just yelling out to you like, "Hey, I want some of that." Kind of feeling. What what was this page of rods here? What's this yelling out for, huh? Yeah. He's yelling out, hey, <laughs> keep on with that uh, expansion and creation because the bigger money's coming. I hope that makes sense to you, Aquarius. I really do, but I'm being called. I need to clarify this. This Three of Swords. Yeah, it's definitely timing. Three days, three weeks, three months. Big money, big, big, big money's coming into you, okay? Now, I'm done with you, Aquarius. <laughs> Not done with you, but uh, I'm, that's all we got. And I hope that message helps you. Hope it makes sense. Hope somebody gets some big money this week for you, Aquarius. And let's move on to Pisces. Pisces, what do you need to know for this week? July 22nd through 21st, 29th. The star, the Aquarius, um, the yes answer, the beautiful new beginning. What else? The king of wands, the very cocky energy as well. Could be dealing with a fire sign male. The two of swords. The being stuck and not being able to make a decision. What else for Pisces? Okay. Now, I don't normally take two but it's the lovers could be dealing with a Gemini and some messages coming in so let's get some clarification let's see what else they got what's the star here for the star The star for Pisces. Okay, so the lovers. Possibly a Gemini. And this is like, yes, the relationship, it, it's good. The yes answer for, does he or she love me? Yes, he does. He, she does. Okay? It, it's that beautiful this is divine a divine being this is a divine union i should say what's this king of wands here for this king of wands okay so is he a um higher up official kind of feeling because you got this document coming in what else this king of wands and some anxiety so this could be you if you have fire in your chart or you could be dealing with a very cocky individual and he's causing some anxiety that could require some damage control I'm feeling dealing with um, like and then if he's your your lover, he's your partner, this is your partner's energy, I mean, why are you all anxious? What are, you, are you worried about a pay raise? Are you worried about a document that's coming in? Um, or are you worried about not being able to do something? I mean, why is this Nine of Swords? Why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? Why is this Nine of Swords here? 
Okay, so it's a, an ending with the tower. And this two of swords. The two of swords, you have the king of cups. So making a decision, not being able to make a decision about your love life, possibly to do with a cancer, or it could be yeah, a water sign male, water sign person, somebody that can that has these traits, trying to make a decision about traveling with him possibly. Um, you have a lot of scattered energy this week, Pisces. What about this, the lovers with the eight of wands? The message is coming in or travel. I mean, this could be travel. This is travel. And they, this is like a totally, like, man, Pisces, you got me all over the board here. What else will we have for Pisces? What's this lovers and eight of wands? Messages and travel. Come on. What what else? And eight of swords. Okay. Get out your head. Get get out the house. Y'all y'all don't don't need to be nervous. Y'all don't need to be anxious about anything. I mean you got nine of swords, eight of swords, two of swords. What's the confusion about? What's the anxiety about? You got some messages coming in. So you got messages coming in that somebody wants to offer you love. And you're like, do I take it? Or don't I take it? And that's the same thing with this. It's like, you know, do you take it or don't you take it? Do you, you have a decision to make. And could be dealing with somebody, um, another water sign um, person, I mean, you are water, Pisces, I mean, yeah, so, I, are you dealing with another water sign, are you dealing with your emotions, and trying to figure out what you're doing, because you have a can the cancer card here, the travel card, um, you have someone who's very cocky as well, in your mix, and, I mean, he could be causing you some anxiety, causing you some issues, and, but overall, I mean, the universe is saying, hey, yes, 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 yes. The answer is yes. You have a new love coming. And let's get one more card for this, and then I am going to hang this up and let you decide how it's going to play out because your energy is all over. Yeah. The Queen of Cups. You are in control of your own destiny, Pisces. You are in control of your own emotions. The universe is saying yes to this relationship. The universe is saying yes to this decision, whatever it should be. If it is just a decision to love yourself more and love yourself better and put yourself first, then that is what you need to hear. And don't worry about all this uh, energy, all this in your head and anxieties, because it's not worth it. It really isn't. And I mean, the this this won't last forever. This for sure won't last forever. This here, this energy. This won't last forever, but you are the only person that can control that. You are the only person that can control your emotions and thoughts. Make sure they're positive thoughts, and I will leave it on that. I hope that these messages have been of help to you, Pisces, and I hope you have a great week. I hope everyone has a great week. And until next time, I'll see y'all back for y'all dailies. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. Pray, make sure you press that um, bell icon so you can be notified when I upload the new content. And I, I look forward to seeing y'all um, comments. So let me know if I can help anybody with anything, okay? And have a blessed week.